वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सरफेस करंट नाउ लेट एस एज्यूम डेट हियर इज अ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड विच इज एक्टिंग ऑन द कंडक्टिंग मीडियम दिस इज एक्स डायरेक्शन दिस इज जेड डायरेक्शन एंड द वाई डायरेक्शन इज एक्टिंग हियर इन द डायरेक्शन विच इज आउट ऑफ द पेपर दैट इज इन दिस direction so here is the y direction now for z greater than 0 it represents conducting medium so for z greater than 0 here is the conducting medium and this is the conducting surface which is represented by hashed lines now let us assume that an electric field that is represented by e not is acting in x direction and the magnetic field that is denoted by h not is being oriented in this y direction so the electric field amplitude will decrease exponentially as the wave travels inside the conductor so this wave shows the exponential behavior of electric field if we talk about the component of this electric field then this exponential behavior is shown in terms of electric field as e not e to the power minus gamma z where gamma is the proportionality constant so let me write it here the wave travels inside the conductor which is given by e to the power minus gamma z into e not where gamma is propagation constant since we discussed in the previous lectures that is the propagation constant for the good conductor r it is being represented by gamma where gamma is equals to j omega mu into sigma under the root so this is the propagation constant for the good conductor when the wave propagates in the good conducting medium here gamma can also be represented in terms of attenuation and phase constant as alpha plus j beta now for the good conductor the attenuation constant and the phase constant are equal that is alpha is equals to beta only and it is also equals to under the root omega mu sigma over 2 so if we write the propagation constant in terms of attenuation and phase constant then it will be like under the root omega mu sigma over 2 plus j 
times this beta that is under the root omega mu sigma over 2. So this is the representation of propagation constant for good conductor. Now if the current is flowing in the direction of electric field then we have conduction current density that is represented by J and which is equals to sigma times this factor that is E0 e to the power minus gamma z. Now for evaluation of the conduction current density let us have a look at this conducting slab. So here is the conducting slab which is represented also by the hashed line. This hashed line shows the electric field inside the slab and the depth of this slab is equals to dz only. So let's assume that a thin slab is here having depth of dz so this dz is nothing but depth of this conducting slab so the conduction current density acting on this slab can be given as Since the conduction current density is represented by J of Z, then it will be equal to sigma times electric field intensity. Now, this electric field intensity that is E vector can be replaced with this component which shows the exponential behavior of this wave. So, J of Z will be equal to sigma times e naught e to the power minus gamma z and here we write this unit vector because the electric field is acting in this x direction that's why we are writing this x cap which shows the direction of electric field in x direction since we know that the propagation constant that is gamma can also be represented in terms of attenuation and phase constant as alpha plus j beta. So if we write alpha plus j beta in place of this propagation constant that is gamma then the conduction current density will become sigma e naught e to the power minus alpha plus j beta z into x cap. If we simplify this expression and separate out this exponential term then it will become j z naught sigma e naught e to the power minus alpha z e to the power minus j beta z into x cap. So this is the conduction current density in terms of attenuation and phase constant. Now let us have a look at the current flowing inside this conducting slab. So the current flowing inside the slab of depth dz is why we write this dz because we discussed that the dimension of this slab is nothing but dz so the current flowing inside the slab of the dimension that is dz is 
रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय आई ऑफ जेड वेयर आई ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल्स टू कंडक्शन करंट डेंसिटी डेट इज जी ऑफ जेड बीइंग मल्टीप्लाइड विथ द डेप्थ ऑफ द स्लैब डेट इज डी जेड इफ वी रिप्लेस दिस कंडक्शन करंट डेंसिटी विथ इट्स वैल्यू देन आई ऑफ जेड विल बिकम सिग्मा ई नॉट e to the power minus gamma z into dz this is the value of conduction current density in terms of propagation constant now if we integrate this current then we get the surface current so on integrating the current we get surface current as so the expression for the surface current will become g of s why this s because we are getting the surface current so the expression for the surface current being represented by this g of s integration from 0 to infinite sigma e not e to the power minus gamma z into dz and the component of unit vector that is x cap which shows the direction of electric field which is acting in x direction and we know that the true current exists only if the conductivity is infinite that's why we are taking the limit that is 0 to infinite since true conductivity or we can say that true current exist only if conductivity is infinite that's why we are taking the limit from 0 to infinite so here is the reason so the simplified expression for the surface current can be represented as g of s which is being equals to sigma e not over minus gamma e to the power minus gamma z and the limits are from 0 to infinite into x cap and on putting the limits we know that e to the power minus infinite is 0 and e to the power 0 becomes 1 so g of s is equals to sigma e not over minus gamma e to the power minus infinite minus e to the power 0 into x cap so this surface current that is g of s will become sigma e not over minus gamma e to the power minus infinite will become 0 minus 1 into x cap so g of s will become equals to sigma e not over minus gamma this minus and minus sign will get cancel and it become plus only and this x cap so this is the expression for surface current and here this minus gamma comes after the integration so don't confuse it with this term this is surface current 
So this is all about the surface current expression and the derivation. If you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button. Thank you.